Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to set up the press. The first thing that you need to do is to get the blankets. The sets of blankets for these three presses are all right here. I'm going to pull them all out and lift them up on the table for us. As you know from your previous times printing, we want to keep the blankets clean. So I'm going to take this top stack and I'm not even going to put it on the glass. I'm just going to set it aside over here. And then I'm going to open our container. And today I'm going to be printing on the top hitch press, the smallest one, and it has the smallest set of blankets. Now, a set of blankets includes the sizing catcher, which is, as I said, that we're soaking our paper, it's opening up the sizing, it's loosening the glue that holds all the pulp together, and this kind of catches that sizing and prevents it from kind of spreading around. The middle blanket, which is usually thicker, but not always, is the cushion. So it's um, adding more pressure so that we can transfer a good image, right? It's all about transferring the ink to the paper. And the top blanket is the pusher, which helps push the other blankets through the press because it's kind of going through and kneading the roller at the same time, or I mean, at the, the first. So whenever we're storing our presses at the end of the day, we want to center them and we want to remove the blankets after we're done printing. So I'm going to start by moving the press all the way to one side. You can see, or if you're here, you'd be able to see that there's no um, pressure from the roller on the bed. There's no, um, it's not engaged at all. And so we lift it up. I'm going to unroll my blankets, which I've made even before I started. This one on this press is shorter, so it's okay. Um, I'm going to move it a little closer to the center. Okay, that's step one, putting the blankets on. We want to make sure that they're centered, centered this way and this way the best we can. The next thing is setting the pressure. And you want to set the pressure with the press bed more towards the center, right? You don't want to put a ton of pressure on one side and then as it's rolling through, maybe it's uneven. Or in this case, you know, there's a different length of blanket. So it's a thinner, it's got thinner spots on either end. So I've rolled it to the center and um, whatever you do to one side of the press, you need to do to the other side. Conveniently, this press has a really good um, numbering system both there are numbers both on this um, dial and on the um, the stem that it's spinning on so if you're ever not sure if the press bed is uneven and you really want even pressure on all sides just count the lines so right now this has one two three four lines and it's on the three so I'm gonna start by spinning that's one turn two turns three turns down actually i'm going to leave it there so now i have zero and i can just barely see the one above it and it's lined up with the zero and i'm going to go do the same thing on the other side for intaglio printing we needed a bit more pressure but you then, for example, relief printing, because the plates are thinner and um, they have, they need more pressure to transfer the ink. But, um, but we also don't want to put too much pressure because that will destroy the plate, it will destroy your image, and it will um, ruin the roller on the press. So. If you're never, if you're unsure, start with less pressure and build your way up until you have what you need. So that's what we're going to do right now. So now I'm going to roll this to one side. I'm going to lift the blankets up and I'm going to get my plate and its registration system. So. You can see here that I've created a registration system and it's very simple. I have my four by six plate in the center 
and my paper was 11 inches wide by 10 inches tall and I've marked just where the corners of that paper will go the edges and corners of the paper will go I have decided that I want it to be 2.5 inches so the width of it is evenly split this plate will be printed horizontally and then for the top and bottom I decided I wanted to have more weight on the bottom so more negative space on the bottom of my page so I have 2.5 inches on the side 2.5 inches on the top 2.5 inches on the other side and 3.5 inches on the bottom which just looks nice it's kind of a standard thing and also if we sign and, and do our addition numbering underneath that will also kind of push the the bottom edge of the plate down further um, in terms of the visual weight so I'm just gonna have my plate lined up. Now you'll see, to start this process, my plate is not inked. So I'm gonna show you a method for setting the pressure of an intaglio plate before it's inked. And it's just based on embossing and seeing the type and the amount of impression you're getting, which you'll see in a second. So now, I'm gonna take one of, of my little scrap strips that I soaked and I'm going to place it on the plate in a spot that has um, I'm going to place it on the plate in a spot that has some image area and I'm going to allow it to go off the edge because seeing how much the plate itself is impressing um, on the paper it tells us a lot about the amount of pressure that we need. Oh and I forgot one thing I need to always put newsprint on top and bottom my plate. So I've got my newsprint. Even though my plate isn't inked, I don't want to worry about oil or grease or anything transferring. I'm going to slowly lower the blankets and I'm going to give it a spin. Sometimes, depending on the press, you can feel when the plate engages, when the plate goes under the roller, and sometimes you can't. So I'll actually roll it back for the purpose of this video. I do not recommend doing this if you're printing for yourself. Just go once through. We can see. Oops. Okay, so this part is going to be a bit hard for you to tell in the video and we'll show it more in class, but there's very little embossment on the edge of the plate. And again, you won't be able to see this in the video, I don't see any embossment from the plate in this on this paper, which means that my pressure isn't quite enough. Um, you can really tell if you hold the paper up to the light, the area where the plate was, the paper fiber should be pushed down more and it should be almost shiny, like smooth and shiny, um, whereas the outer edge will kind of have that original texture of the paper. So I'm going to lower my blankets for a second. I'm going to tighten my pressure just a little at a time. And I actually set this press yesterday so I know exactly where it needs to be for this plate. If I can get it there, perfect. I'm going to make sure it's exactly even. And I'll get another strip. And again, for the video purposes, you'll have to trust me on this one and I'll show you in class. But I do the same thing, take another fresh strip of scrap paper, but the same kind of paper that I'll be using for the printing. The other thing is it's always a good idea to um, wipe your press bed down before you put your plate or paper down, which I forgot to do. And this time I'm going to pull my scrap paper up. I'm going to look um, and I'll be able to see that there is embossment from the image area on this piece of paper. And I'll show that to you in class. But that's how you set up your press. You um, get, put your blankets on, um, have your registration system ready, start to set the pressure and just bring it down a little bit at a time until it's ready to go. All right, thank you.